Hello and welcome everyone. In this series of videos we are working on uh, the labs that you should be doing for AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator exam. All the labs are available on the GitHub and I'll give you the link. Uh, in this lab we are going to start this section lab O3B which is all about managing Azure resources using ARM templates and in this video we are going to complete the first section or first task of this lab which is about reviewing an ARM template for deployment of an Azure managed disk. Now remember if you're watching the series in the last video we have created a disk and we're going to use the same disk and look at the deployment. Now let's get to it. So the first task is pretty short uh, review an ARM template for deployment of an Azure managed disk we're going to sign into Azure portal and we'll look at the resource group and in the list of resource group click on the resource group that we have created in the previous lab so let's go there let's copy this one and let's go to our environment here are my resource groups uh, there are a whole bunch up in there and I'm just gonna search for the resource group they're asking so this is my resource group that I have and let's go back to the lab so once I'm there in the settings section click on deployment so let's go to our settings and deployments here is my settings and under settings you see this deployment this is the that's the deployment blade so if you click on that here I have uh, one entry that says Microsoft.ManageDisk and then there is some identifier it says status succeeded and we have done this um, earlier today so click on the first entry and then click on view templates so if I click here then this view template button is now available so I can click on it so this is going to give you give us the template that was used for deploying this resource as a matter of fact if you look at this automate deploying resources with Azure resource manager template in a single coordinated operation define resources and configurable input parameters and deploy with script or code uh, learn more about template deployment you can go there and uh, learn more about how to use the template and how to use the parameters and how to make your script okay so let's go back to the lab uh, on this deployment so we have done that and it's saying click on download and save the compressed file containing the template and parameter file to the downloads folder on your lab computer so let's try to download this and it's now downloading to my local desktop and extract the content of the file downloads folder onto your lab computer and uh, this file is also available as JSON file from here so that's pretty much end of the lab so we have downloaded and in the next so before I close the video just take a quick look at the schema maybe so the deployment uh, it's a JSON file schema is something that is required you gotta have a schema and a content version and then I have different parameters like disk name location SKU disk size um, operating system type creation all kinds of um, variables or uh, parameters that you're passing in and then uh, under resources who is going to provide that resource it's microsoft.compute disk that's the resource type uh, here's the API version uh, let's see what others is interesting in here uh, so it's pretty much self-explanatory what we're gonna do let's see parameters as anything yes yeah, so on the parameters a template you pass the general template on parameters it's more specific so here you're actually specifying the disk name here's the location it's going to be deployed in West US 2 as a premium LRS so that's what we deployed disk size was 1024 gigabytes uh, and then disk encryption type encryption rest with platform key 
So that's uh, Microsoft's guarantee that all of your disks uh, that are going to be ACC uh, encryption available to you. So all of that looks pretty good. So, and we have already downloaded the copy. In the next video, what we'll do, we'll use this and uh, we'll do something with that template file. So thank you for watching this video. It's a short one where we have just reviewed the ARM template for deployment and you can do uh, to go to any resource group and look at other deployments as well like if I go to some more interesting resource group maybe like my resource group I can go to the deployments and I have multiple resource groups and some of them have succeeded some of them have failed and you can like here I have a VM that we have deployed and you can look at all of these different deployment and their uh, and their template. Okay, so use it uh, wisely and use and kind of uh, look at your resource providers and kind of try to understand how the whole thing works. It's gonna help you a lot, especially if you're trying to automate your deployment. All right, that's the end of the video. I hope to see you in the next one. If you like this one, please give me a, a like and a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, and good luck with the exam. Thank you.